Right. So, uh, so, so something I wanted to ask about the sport, since it's not such a popular sport in our country, if it's not cricket, they do, it doesn't get that much support. So I want to target that now. Uh, what kind of uh, what kind of challenges have you faced, like in terms of like infrastructure or facilities or anything like that throughout your career? We have, you know, beautiful stadiums and the infrastructure is beautiful in India. But we don't have the specific equipment for rhythmic gymnastics. So for us, I mean, the only equipment that we would be needing is a mat. You know, the rest of the equipment we buy, it, we can buy it ourselves. But something that we cannot buy ourselves is a mat because it is it's a huge mat. It's an entire carpet, right? Yeah. So that is something that I never had proper access to. So there are a few uh, mats in India. Uh, most of them are in Delhi. They're they're. Um, I mean, they are being used at the IG Stadium in Delhi, and then I think a couple. There was one or two that came in for national games in Kerala, and yeah, a few places have it. Uh, Hyderabad has one, but that is from like the 2002 national games. So it's a pretty old carpet, and yeah, I think that was the biggest problem that I faced, and. Also, like, you know, in 2018, our government actually uh, did approve a mat for me. So, for okay. well, the Commonwealth Games, they approved a mat so that I can train on it. But that mat comes in the end of 2018 and it is in storage even now. So, like, you know, it's oh, nowhere. So you didn't even get to use it at any point. No, I haven't used it even once. <laughs> it's just there, it's sitting in storage. <laughs> what a waste. Oh, my God. So, yeah. so, so like, what... We have the infrastructure, we have the, um, you know, we have the capacity to be able to get those maps that are required, but it's just that they are not being used in the right way. Okay, so what kind of support do you think you, you someone uh, who is like yourself when they were probably 10 to 15 years old, what kind of support do you think they should have gotten or should be able to get uh, now? Starting from the most basic, it is the infrastructure and the coaching. You know, there are coaches, but most of them are in uh, Maharashtra, Delhi, Punjab, not, they are to the north side. And most of them, yeah, it, it's towards that side. So like in South, in South of India, I think there is a center coming up in uh, Bangalore. But other than that, I, I mean, I am not aware of, you know, any other coaching centers specific mm -hmm. for rhythmic gymnastics. Again, artistic gymnastic is there in every state, every, you know, major city and all. But rhythmic gymnastic is still um, not that developed. So that is one thing, the infrastructure. And I think one more thing that's really missing is uh, the exposure for the kids. Because, you know, we don't have that many competitions or tournaments that happen. We just have the school nationals, the nationals, the federation nationals. And recently they started the Kalo India. But these are all tournaments that happen once a year. And yeah. with just once a year, that kind of exposure will not help the kids um, improve the game, you know. Like, okay. I had the opportunity to be able to play in multiple, um, what do you say, club-level tournaments. They're not high level, the club level, but I have played in multiple tournaments. Like, when I was in Italy last year, I used to go for a competition every week. So, you know, you... you you learn to control your nerves. You learn to control that situation, that environment of being in a competition. That is something that is really lacking for most of the young kids. For yes,